Yo, it's probably a good idea to tune your goddamn instrument prior to making a video, guys. I'm so happy because today I found my friends. They're in my head. I'm so wobbly, that's okay. Cause so are you. We broke our mirrors Sunday mornings every day for all I've heard. And I don't mind. Like my candles in the days. Cause I found God. Yeah, 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 yeah. that looks so easy. I'll tell you, it's very easy. You take this first string, figure it out, and tune it down one note. Just do it. And the reason I say just do it is because Danny Herrera from Fear Factory schooled Andreas Kisser from Sepultura, who's been playing like solos like a guitar god for 30 years. Album of the Year, Heavy Metal, Sepultura, 1990, Beneath the Remains, 2020, Sepultura, Quadra. Yo, he tuned it down, by the way. Fear Factory, check it, check it out. Like, the guy's a killer. Like, he, he doesn't play solos, but he kills what he does. He weighs 300 pounds. I tell fat people, like, you look at the guy from Fear Factory. It sounds like shit, because it's not tuned. Check it out. Okay, that sounds great, right? But let's continue to web Is this Am I poor? I'll put I've got cool. Oh, I can't sing for shit, guys. Just let me tell you that uh, this song is so bad the way I play it. You need to check it out in, in real life. I'll tell you the name at the end. Okay, so 
say the same thing. So that's a classic schizophrenia courtesy of Alice in Chains and the song is of course Voices. This song is by Alice in Chains and it's not called Voices. Every time it sounds like crap, fix it. Sometimes it's a second guitar player, which there's not. Yo, Sting, by the way, plays so good, it sounds better than digital, says my friend to me. It's total crap. Digital is perfect, and Sting is a human, right? A human. Okay, I should tune this, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. Here's another rule for you. You don't play two consecutive notes. Twice. So if you play two consecutive notes, you better skip a couple each time. That's it. That's it. That's all of it. So you see these guys doing their hammering and all this crap? That's the, all they're doing. So you play one note and the second note, but then you go to skip and then skip and then just to be safe, skip again. You know, that's pentatonics. So 
again, at the end of the day, either you've got perfect pitch or you don't, they say. Uh, if you don't, you wouldn't be watching this. I don't know what the hell to say. It's like, yo, I used to be a quiet baby, uh, and now I'm some kind of sales guy. Like, I'm the guy who teaches your fucking guys to shut the fuck up and let their customers say a goddamn thing, by the way. Just let me know. More Fear Factory, eh? I actually suck with tour. down tuning the top string works is that you can play two strings at once that's it forget about chords think about what sounds good and what sounds like someone struggling or someone who, like basically you want to be like grant cardoni rather listen to what he says and don't be a goddamn nationalist but he says i if i'm wrong i'm going to be 100 percent wrong this is the same thing donald trump says so you're making fun of his haircut. You're making fun of what? I don't know what the hell you have. Uh, like what? Pro like I'm a Muslim. I got plenty of beef with this guy. Yo, my my wife, not my sister, but my wife. Like my Guatemalano hermano, my amigo from Guatemala. Yo, he like he gets drunk and then he just starts ranting about Ivana and the family and people like all kinds of incestuous relationships, all kinds of stuff. He hates them. He doesn't give the guy a pass or a chance. I have every reason to hate this guy. I studied the Third Reich. And yo, the only difference between Trump and Hitler, the only difference, the only difference, yo, don't tell me that his hair is different. The only difference is Trump was materialist and Hitler had no interest in money. No, no other, I bet you like behind closed doors, Trump loses his fucking face like regularly. Like if you say the wrong thing, he's like all over you. That's what they do. You'll be surprised to know that I have a YouTube video out there, dear viewer. I. I don't want to say this, but I told some people today, and I might as well tell you guys, like, Steve Jobs had the same personality as Adolf Hitler. I've got two YouTube videos. You can you can Google Zion Boy, Steve Jobs, Adolf Hitler. It sounds very macabre. It sounds very horrific to compare, like, a technology god, a goddamn demi-god, okay? There being no god, but one god, right? Yo, this guy's a demi-god. Like, compared to a normal guy, he's, he's a god, more or less. I'm sorry, like, Elon Musk, or, or Zuckerberg, or Richard Branson, or you know, Jeff Bezos? You think he's normal? You think Bill Gates is normal? Bill Gates has already thought about everything that's gonna come out of your mouth for the rest of your life, like in, like in seconds. Anyway, I'm gonna try and play Bali. I do, I do need to tune this uh, back. So now, how to tune your guitar? I'm not gonna teach you how to tune anything more than the top two strings. Just remember, like these dots have a purpose. This is the fifth fret. These are frets. The reason death metal people are the best is because a guy that gets this instrument and plays every note on here fast and slow and does different things with the string to the extent that Mike Davis of Nocturnus is, is soloing in the middle of his solo. He smacks his guitar like this, like a net. And it's like, what's he doing? Why is he doing that? It alters the pitch. Okay, anyway, this, this is number five. This is number seven. And I don't even care or know about the rest. You need to keep this thing simple. And you need to be stupid and remember that if I'm teaching you something, people taught me this thing. And if you look at someone like Trey Azagfoth or Morbid Angel or even these guys from Cannibal Corpse, yo, just look at Mitch Harris. He's been doing these guys have been doing this thing for 30 years. I've been doing this for 30 years, but not regularly, like once a month maybe I'll pick this thing up. Anyway, I'm gonna tune this thing and here's how you do it. You press number five, the top fret five. <laughs> It's an A or something. It doesn't matter what it is. Forget about reading music. Nobody knows how to read that stupid crap. Okay, that was like Beethoven and Mozart. And by the way, let me just say this. Apart from country and hip hop, classical music has every kind of music in it, including death metal. If you listen to Night on Bald Mountain by Modest Mussorgsky, a Russian composer, yo, know, it's like 16 beats a second. <laughs> It's, it's, it's good stuff. Anyway, so now, 
This top, that you want the strings to sound the same. The top one, number five. The second one, it's different, right? It's lower. We know it's lower. We're just gonna turn it up. So that's that's better, right? Polly wants a cracker. Think I should get off her first. Did she want some water to put out the blow torch? Is it me? Help but see. Let me clear dirty wings. Let me take a ride. Cut yourself. What's the matter? Please myself. Promise you. These are not chords. What I'm playing right now, they used to call power chords. It shouldn't scare you. It's the top string, and you leave a space at two and go to the next string. That's it. And that, does that, that's the only purpose to tune it. Like, if you tune it, you gotta play that. You can't no longer do the down tune, like this down tune thing. That's how you wanna play. That's what he says. And, and Andrew's Kisser just ate it up, and that's what he does. Who the hell am I to, to say something different? Anyway, screw the rest of that song. I'm gonna break from tradition and give you some Slayer. say just recently I've, I've been getting back into bass just because of these guitars and the problems I'm having tuning them when all else fails just go down to the first string and just slap the string down. I'll tell you if you if your kid wants to play guitar you should probably give him a bass guitar don't ask me why bass guys they have it together they don't they're not that technical but Yo, it's like drums and bass is the rhythm section. They hold it together. They, the drummer all, often arranges the songs. It's just like the editor is the guy who makes the picture. Yo, they go out and shoot like hundreds of yards of film, like feet or something. I don't know what they do, like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, budget and cost overruns and thousand dollar sushi dinners and crap, just millions of dollars. And then they give all of this footage. You know, the director does his best to get what he has in mind or some crap. Who knows what the hell is going on? Yo, know, millions of dollars and all these people and everyone gnawing at the bed and, you know, like breaking hearts and Oscar nods and this, this usual shit. I'm reading about like this, this movie called Giant. It's blowing my mind. It's like, I, I need to write a script now. Elizabeth Taylor, okay, now I re realize why she's famous, by the way. She was a child star back in the 40s and she killed it like in the 50s. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this guy, James Dean, he died uh, prior to the end of this movie. Giant, giant, not the giant, giant. So now, uh, Rock Hudson, the guy's name is Roy Fitzgerald and his gay Jewish agent gave him the name Rock Hudson. And the guy had a talent apparently for just naming people with, well, I mean, he called them good old fashioned Anglo-Saxon names or some, something. So like, you know, he had guys with like normal names, like John, like a solid name. And he'd name them something like 
Rip Torn or some rubbish. Anyway, so you tune this top string down. I'm going to tune back up and finish Polly off. How are you not going to finish Polly off, right? Rest in peace, Kurt Cobain, right? Kurt Cobain died the same day my sister was born. Mm. Polly says her back hurts. She's just as bored as me. She got me off my guard. I just like want to play so heavy, but it's like shit. I've been playing good. I'll tell you what, guys. In order to learn, if you want to learn this thing, this thing, first of all, you need to tune it and be meticulous about sounding, about what it sounds like. Forget about who's listening or what you're wearing or whatever. You're listening to what it sounds like. That's it. That's the key to this thing called music. Like, what does it sound like? So there's a guy, a composer back in the day, and he produces like this piece. It's all silent. So one guy did it. Like, every, anyone could do that. It's like the monkey that throws paint on a canvas. It may look like Picasso. It's not Picasso. Anyway, um, I'm going to, after a month or two of playing this, like getting back into it, I finally bought five plectrums for five doors. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm going to show you how it's done, I suppose. Plectrum, plectrum, what's a plectrum? Well, you got good plectrums and you got bad plectrums, dear user. Sorry, viewer. I'm a software guy, right? So I call everybody a user. I'm a user. Everyone's a user. You're using products, right? You're consuming this content. Anyway, there's some people that play with a nickel. I don't even know the last time I saw a nickel. Like the bass player of Yes, this amazing 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 bass player from progressive 60s band yes would play with the bass you want to go for mediocre okay so medium there's a story about buddha and how he got enlightened or how he straightened someone else out he enlightened someone else something like this he uh he's sitting next to a river with a student and then his like there's a boat that goes by and there's a teacher and his student is not paying attention as usual yo the teacher on the boat is teaching a guy guitar and he says listen if you tune it up too high, it's going to break. And if you tune it down too low, yo, know, this thing, unless you want to really get into bass and start hammering this thing, really, at the end of the day, it's how, how does it sound, not how does it look. How does it sound? Forget how it looks. I had a three-quarter size guitar. It's in my wife's apartment. She's out of the country. If you have a kid who's interested in playing the guitar, and you're interested in this thing, I'm going to send it to you, but you were paying for the shipping. I paid 40 bucks for this thing. I'll tell you it's unplayable, but if it's the right kid, he'll become like Picasso in this thing. I mean, you got to retune it after every song to start with. It's got six strings. It's three quarters size. It's a parlor guitar. There's some guy in Ecuador. He makes these things. He's been making them for, for 60 years. The guitar sucks though. I mean, it's unplayable. It looks great, but it's unplayable. The same, the same, the same story, different, different thing. Let me tell you, like, I was talking to a friend and we arrived at the understanding that all that glitters is not gold is what is said. The truth is, run the fuck away from anything that glitters. That's, the, that's what it is. And that's too much for you, of course. So what are you going to do now? Right? You think you're special and you also think you're you're scum. <laughs> you think you can dance and but you know you can't. You know it's everyone. Like you, you think you can act and then you, you're like, yo, you want attention but you hate attention. So now what are you gonna do with this thing? So let's uh, have some Floyd then, eh? Um, now that I've ruined the tuning, let's uh, let's show you how it's done. So number five, okay? Good enough. Okay, the rest of it's tuned. So now let's just Go to the sound. It needs to resonate. These two strings. Listen, listen to this. You gotta get a, a resonance. And I, I gotta call my wife. Okay, I, I gotta go back to the note. I'm, I'm screwing it all up. I haven't slept. I worked overnight. I'm a forklift uh, operator. I yo order picker, machine operator. Ding ding.
My wife had this guitar for 20 years. To let you know the kind of woman she is. She has a $5,000 giant bike that she has had for 20 years. She finally gifted this thing to me on my birthday. I stuck it to a CD on it to piss her off, eh? 20 years. It works just fine. So, I mean, it's like the Chinese say, you get what you pay for, basically, right? So, they also break the rule. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to repent for years of racism against Chinese people by virtue of walking around saying Leho and Neho for years to people in Chinatown, Spadina and college, this area. My buddy used to live there and I used to say hello. To, I say hello to probably a thousand Chinese people. They looked at me like I was, well, I mean, I'm sorry to say I, I've read Noble House by James Covell. I've read uh, Shogun. <laughs> Once you read Shogun, like, or something like this, or you read Ninja by Eric Van Lustbatter, uh, you become more familiar with Japanese and Chinese culture and some nuances than Japs and Chinks themselves. And in case you think I'm racist, I, I'm the guy who says that Japanese people are 200 years advanced, more advanced. They're so advanced, they're like aliens. And I can prove it to you, and I will. Just give me one second. This is okay, so I'm just screwing it up totally, but so turn it up. Good enough. Second string, number five. And then compared to open, the open third. You're not playing any frets on the third, it's open. Good enough. Same with the third and the fourth. And then you go down one to number four. Okay, and then you see that. The string has actually jumped a track. It's a sign saying I should shut up and I'm bothering people. You know I don't care, right? I mean, I do, but I'll, I'll wind it down. Okay, so number four. Uh, okay, third string compared to the fourth. It doesn't sound right, right? Or does it? That sounds better. Now, go back up to five. how to play without a plectrum and somehow you your nails or some kind of crap you got your like your skin is hard and like maybe get a blister on your old little finger maybe get a blister on your thumb right some guys can play without a plectrum for the majority of people learn how to play with a plectrum uh, apply pressure so that you're only playing one note at a time on one string do not press that down and and 
play something or dampen like if, if you touch the second string that's like I mean if you want to dampen it that's what that is now plectrum solos so the key to the whole thing is like I have no idea I don't play solos because uh, guys who play solos like are just they scare me I'm sorry like I was watching a video of Trey Azikthoff it's not his name like they're a satanic band they actually uh, worship Sumerian gods they're highly intelligent all of death metal is from Tampa Bay uh, south of Florida like swamps swamps like literally this dude listens to Mozart or Beethoven sorry Beethoven Beethoven not Mozart Trey Azikthoff okay and he here worships Van Halen He's practiced so much on his guitar, his arm is bent. They said he cut his arm and bled on his guitar. Who knows? Who knows? They are self-described uh, satanic. The most satanic band would be deicide. Homicide is killing a person. Genocide is killing a nation. Patricide is killing your dad. Yo, deicide is killing God. <laughs> so what are you going to do? So the debut album is called Deicide. It's, what do you think it's about? And why do you think he carries a licensed gun? Like, there's people like my wife who want to kill this guy. Glenn Benton from DSI. He's got an upside down cross on his head. Okay, I'll give you this story now. You see this guy at a concert and he's like the coolest guy. All these guys in death metal are the coolest guys because they have a channel for their rage. That's it. That's all it is. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm so burnt out and stressed out and it's like, I need to move. I'm commuting two hours to work. My wife, my dad, everyone, it's like too much. I just went for a walk in the woods for like two hours. Yo, um, I'm on probation. I could go to jail. In Canada, you do not need to hit someone. Sometimes it's recommended, but you do not need to hit someone to be charged with assault. If you merely make someone feel threatened and you're aware of what you're doing, you're assaulting that person. Girls, if you're ever in danger, first you spit and slap this guy. And when you and the stun silence, you grab your phone and you're making him run for it because he might kill you. Yo, but you dial 911 or just do it in the bathroom if you don't want to slap him. Because, I mean, many guys have figured out that love is a hoax and they're in it to win it. And they will kill you, right? So all you do is call 911. I'm an ex security guard. They will be there in eight mics, mics, uh, that's the letter M, it's short for minute, eight, eight mics. I was in a condo uh, <laughs> at Lakeshore and Park, Park, like I got like videos of this thing on my YouTube channel from 2014. Yo, there's three buildings joined at the hip, beyond the sea, Park Lawn and Lakeshore, exactly, on the point. There's a pizza shop, whatever, it's called Beyond the Sea, there's three buildings, they're pointed, like, they're cut off, like they're very unique. You'll know which ones I'm talking about because, again, they're the only buildings at Park Lawn and Lake Shore. Yo, you have to see 36 floors, then, yo, 52 floors, 36 floors, and 25. Some stupid nonsense. Now, you go, I got a video of this. You go to the top of this thing. I used to go up there for my smoke break, and they're like, oh, security, what a shitty job. I'll tell you something security guard is the best job in the world, and so sales because <laughs> they're not jobs, they're just you being a fucking dick. Yo, security guard with a, uh, on a power trip, worst day in your life. But a security guard who lives to to keep you, like, yo, just keep you happy. Like, the, the rule is this, business as usual. Okay, so don't make a big fuss about something that's not a big deal. Okay? Guy needs a new card. You can tell in seconds that he's legitimate if you've been working in security for some time. So yeah, ask, but make the motions of you're giving him the card and don't get on a power trip. You're there to serve. Yo, know, if your wife goes home and you got a nice house and you paid 1.2 million or whatever goddamn number you think is, is, is appropriate for a box, more or less, that attaches a chain to your neck via your bank and subjects you to a life of servitude and debt and ignominy and yo, know, you lose your localization. Okay, I'll tell you how it's done. Okay, how it's done is 
you rent. If you buy a house, rent it out completely, completely. We had a townhouse in Calgary. Thank God my wife just sold it. We, I, I say we, it's hers, it's hers. I don't even know what the hell she's been doing. I found her a realtor to sell this damn thing. At one point it was worth 265 back in 2012. She bought it for like 107 in like fucking 2000 or some shit. 20 years ago, townhouse in Calgary, Fish Creek, like just, I mean, it's perfect. You can see the fucking hills of Kananaskis rolling away into the distance. Of course, it's perfect. Everything my wife does is perfect, except the guy she married. Ha ha. Now I need to call her. I'm going to do that. Bear with me. <laughs> YouTube doesn't want me to upload long videos. And so I'm going to keep trying to uh, upload them and pestering them on, on uh, Twitter. <laughs> why not, right? The question is not why, but why not? When Pablo Escobar, who's from the same country as my wife, Pablo Escobar started, I'm not saying, like, listen, I'll smoke occasionally joint because I smoke in any case and whatever. It's like my mom said, if you start smoking, then that's it. Like cigarettes are the gateway drug, not like weed. Anyway, it's true, it's true. Like there's no sick, sick people that do drugs. None. They're, they don't, they're, you won't find a sick person on the street. My probation officer, thank you, God. My new probation officer is sick. And I hear I worship those guys. I don't know why. I go to Gurdwaras, a Sikh temple. Somebody told me that anyone from any part of the world, any religion, race, size, whatever, like you could be retarded. Show up. Just don't be stupid and start shouting, but show up, be respectful, put on the hat, take off your shoes, free food, chill out, talk to people, read, whatever. Like they've got worship going on. They've got like seasoned musicians like playing like sitars like 24-7. So I went there and it's like, yo, why are you eating with Hindus and all this stuff? And it's like, whatever, I don't even talk to people about these things anymore. That's why I got my YouTube channels. Anyway, so uh, this goes on. I, I like There was one near our house in Calgary. I jogged there and it's like, this is ridiculous. And I'm going there day and night. So the one in Calgary, okay, it did have some hours that it wasn't open. I mean, it's the West, okay, it's Calgary. Like, yo, no one's coming out of their house after 10 o'clock in Calgary until 6 in the morning. Why would you? Right? I mean, especially in the middle of winter. Anyway, we're going to play some Floyd. We're going to call my wife. And then we're going to upload this to Vimeo. I tried uploading something to Vimeo. Vimeo is uh, Victor India Mary Echo October. It's an alternate to YouTube. I'm coming out against Google. I might as well tell you. It's been a few years now. Uh, Google is owned by Alphabet, the holding company, just like Facebook is now Meta. Things are done the same way in tech. Okay, I'm a tech guy, okay, I'm telling you this. For example, the guy who starts the company gets fired from his own company if it is successful, except for Larry Ellison at Oracle. I actually worked there, 110 um, Matheson Avenue, Mississauga. You're going down on the 401, you see the sign, this thing downtown is, is not head office or nothing, this is just Uncle Larry being stupid. There's a sign, like, if you look at CN Tower, the closest sign that would appear that is a business oriented sign is oracles and it's of course a matter of timing because they just closed the deal with TikTok. i don't i've never even visited the website i have no idea what it is i think it's like fine like six second videos whatever i'm a twitter guy i appear to be a facebook guy but i'm actually a twitter guy i'll explain the difference uh, although i have in another video it's twitter is interacting with brands and celebrities. A celebrity is a brand. You are a brand. You need to have a website, dear viewer, that is yourname.com. And then email people from your name at yourname.com, Hussein at HusseinZaidi.com. I don't do these things. I tell you to do them. Or if you did something like that, put your website or something on like have, Yo, you should damn brain. Like, first of all, let's just put it this way. Rule number one of having a job is you don't have a job. You're going to get fired or leave one day. So send out resumes. If that's your thing, send out resumes while you have a job. How many interviews are you going to get if you already have a job? You work at BMO. The guys at Scotiabank are going to be like, great. She's already a CSR at BMO. Get her over here, whatever. I mean, she's like a unique candidate or whatever. So. The cool thing is you show up and you're like, well, I just came over to talk <laughs> and you got all these offers in your back pocket. So why don't people do that? No idea. Jobs, as far as I'm concerned, are like calls. You don't want one. You don't want to give one to a person. As a digital marketer, the thing is to blow your business up and then hire people in 
Malaysia or Phil the Philippines, or I had a guy in Pakistan, a guy in India, a guy in freaking Oakland, California, a guy in like uh, Florida. Like, you sell Google ads, but somebody else does the Google ads. And trust me, I've got a minor in computer science. I cannot get my head around Google ads. Don't think that you can create something in 15 minutes and you're going to make millions of dollars. You need to be a data scientist. Uh, if you're into Google ads, I highly recommend you try it. If you're interested in trying something new, like you can sell any goddamn thing you like, frankly, and you can, you can create an ad in 15 minutes and it may work. You may just end up shooting five bucks down the drain or whatever. Now, if you go to Fiverr.com with two R's, Fiverr, it's out of Israel, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, Frank India Victor Echo Radio Radio.com. Five dollar gigs is it was the thing, but you 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 pay a very cut cut rate price, but it's not five dollars. So if you want a business card or let, let, let's say I got a logo uh, done at, on Fiverr, it's it's fifty bucks. That's pretty standard. Uh, you want a website? I don't know, like two three hundred bucks. These are the guys who will tell you that WordPress is crap. I, 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 you know, I taught myself WordPress and I sold it as a consultant and it was the worst mistake of my life. It's just total crap. I was like, I'm not doing this because my, my customer was already, go look it up if you want, Ducoterra, uh, D-U-C-O-T-E-R-R-A. They do infrared heating panels. They're the most amazing things. I, apparently, you stick this thing in your, your room and, it, and it's like natural sunlight in your house. Of course, my, my deal is to explode this company. I gave them the, the answer. And of course, uh, what I've realized as a consultant is your job is telling people the answer, right? Well, the good news is the solution is always self-evident. A, it's always simple. B, it's always available. Now, the cynic in me will add a D that says nobody wants to do this thing. You, you got to sell this guy on, on this thing. You're like, yo, uh, so I told the guy at Dakotero, they do all their, he wants to run Google ads, he wants to run Facebook ads. I'm like, stop it, stop it. He's like, oh, I need a website. I want a website like your way. He, he talked me into selling him a $2,500 website deal for US. He paid me half up front and I chucked some money over to my guy in, in, in Pakistan. I found him Fiverr and I still owe him money and I didn't do, do the thing. I'll tell you why, because they already were ranking in Google, like big time. They thought, Classic thing. They thought they it's the stupidest thing. I mean, they didn't want to hear about it, but they had a shitty looking website in their mind, but it had a lot of content like white papers and nuclear science. And this guy's son is like a genius. And they created this company and it's like cutting edge. And it's like they're doing 500 grand a year. They should be doing 10 million a year. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. So in tech, Steve Jobs started Apple and he got fired from Apple by a guy called John Scully, who he hired from Pepsi. Pepsi back in the 80s overtook Coke. The CMO, chief marketing officer of Pepsi Cola, was brought over to Apple courtesy of this famous line. Steve Jobs is barefoot and running around and crying and spitting and acting like a madman, which is exactly what he was doing and the way he was. In public, uh, he was a different person. If you haven't figured out that you are at least two people, then you're an idiot. You need to have a public persona which is your brand, and then there's you. Of course, you're not going to drink in front of a client, but that doesn't mean you don't drink. And I'm a Muslim, I don't drink, but whatever. Like, Anyway, I'm rambling. So um, Larry Ellison at Oracle, longest serving CEO, he's the only guy who didn't get fired from his company. And now here's my personal favorite rant of the day. Jack Dorsey, who sold Twitter to Elon Musk, he was the co-CEO of Twitter and Square.com. I don't know what square.com is. I've never been there. I think they build websites like Weebly and like Wix. I use Wix. Wix is amazing. If you haven't tried Wix, you're an idiot. If you don't know what Wix or Weebly or Square are, and if you've never tried to create a website, I don't know why you're watching this. You should just go and read something or just go and shoot someone or do whatever the fuck you've been doing with your life. Hey, I'm swearing. I'm trying to play Pink Floyd. Let's see if it's tuned. Hello. Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Come on now. I hear your feeling down. Oh, I can't ease your pain. Put you 
you on your feet again. Relax. I need some information first. Just the basic facts. Can you show me where it occurred? There is no pain you are receiving. A distant ship smoke on the horizon. All right. So this is D, whatever. You want to learn chords, right? So just learn the open chords. Don't worry about bar chords. Power chords are all you need ever and down tuning that string. You don't need to play like this. You can play Floyd like, like the guy from Fear Factory. I learned the chords, I play them. You don't need to play chords like this, this stuff. The only value of this chord is you play every string. Nowadays with effects, you don't need this crap. I'm sorry, Britney Spears is a goddess or a demi-goddess. I like her and respect her as an artist, just like I like Avril Lavigne and Lady Gaga, and that's about it. Beyonce, uh, yes, Rihanna, no. And the rest of it's all crap, pop and country, and I'm sorry, even hip hop is all shite, apart from your two faces, scum of a slum, I got your whole body numb. <laughs> like the old school stuff, straight out of Compton, comes a brother that will smother your mother and make your sister think he love her. <laughs> okay, so, okay, uh, this is D. I, I suggest you learn D. It's a beautiful chord. Uh, just go look it up and learn it, all right? That's that's it. It's a little triangle. A is similar. You just shift them up over there. By the way, you could play A up here as well. Exactly the same sound, right? That's the, the magic of whatever this is. Like, it's obviously created by God, right? There is no pain. You are receiving. Okay, then he's like, When I was a child, I got a fever. My hands felt just like two balloons. Now I. Yo, if you learn the C, make sure you, you hit that top note there, okay? Just remember these words. Don't play a C with an open B, okay? It doesn't work. It sounds much nicer if you actually use that pinky for the reason God gave it to you. you are only coming through. Another good chord is G. Three, like E? Okay, sorry, not E. E is good too. It's actually better. It's like two, 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 uh, that's E right there. Two, two points, right? Second fret on, on, the, on the second and third string. So every alternative down good boy excels. That's the tuning. Who cares? You tune this E down anyway to a D or whatever. And it's the same kind of logic. There's E, E sharp, and then F, F sharp, G. So you're missing. Like, so the rule, the rule is don't just pick it up and play consecutive notes unless you're like some guy from Morbid Angel. So some people like uh, Dave Gilmore from uh, Floyd, they get away with playing consecutive notes. That's called mastery. That's not what you do ever. You don't, you don't do it. Like you don't do it. This is Dean Side. Yo, a song about Charles Manson. Plectrum. There is darkness in his eyes, and you will see it before you die. It's technically incorrect. He, Charles Manson never killed anyone, and I'm sorry to inform you, he was actually innocent. Uh, he apparently told one guy one time to go and do what you need to do. And that guy killed someone else. This was years ago. There was someone that was murdered on Spam's ranch. Uh, they didn't show it in the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood by Quentin Tarantino. I wonder if he's Siciliano, this man. <laughs> he must be from Naples, eh? Tarantino, he's not from mainland Italy. Mainland Italy is goofs and pedophiles and fascists. Mussolini, 
Berlusconi, about the same thing. How about some chicken caldini with the Catholic Church? Catholic Church, the most evil. I'm sorry, my wife was raised Catholic and she converted. I have nothing against Christians. Catholicism is the most evil thing in this world, which is about to be overtaken by corporations who have access to unlimited future resources, whatever, right? Catholic Church by the 14th century had figured out how to torture and kill and destroy people in ways that are inconceivable, even to the guys that create Japanese manga. Maybe not them. Anyway, let me just give you an example. The witch hunt, Salem? This was not... Salem is a village or town in Massachusetts. There's an English literature book called The Crucible. Um, I actually studied it in high school or something like this. What happened with women and this church was 40,000 women all over Europe and yes, America, but Europe predominantly for 40 years, they tortured women to death that this is the church. This is God. So when Nietzsche, Frederick Nietzsche, who predicted World War II and Nazis and communism and everything else that we haven't even figured out from his works. I mean, I'm sorry to, to have to inform you uh, that the only way that you're going to understand Frederick Nietzsche is to YouTube Jordan Peterson. Go to YouTube and type in Jordan Peterson and look at a video like uh, 45 minutes on a paragraph of Beyond Good and Evil or something like this. Nietzsche said the following, God is dead, but there's more. The whole sentence is way longer. God is dead and we have killed him and we will never be able to wash the blood off our hands. God is not God in the sky. Are you joking? He's going to take, why? Yo, Nietzsche was Nietzsche. A guy like me, I feel bad saying his name. According to Jordan Peterson, this guy is like one in 500 to 2000 years. I mean, more or less after Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Frederick Nietzsche, born in like circa uh, 1800s, who was actually the, the progenitor of the Nazis and the, his, his number one student was Adolf Hitler. And Sig Heil, like Heil Hitler is Heil Hitler, okay? H.H. Helly Hansen. <laughs> I just got a Helly Hansen jacket. Eh? <laughs> anyway, H.H., if you see H.H. Uh, or the number 8, 8, that's Heil Hitler. Like these white nationalists, like the letter H is the eighth letter. So Heil Hitler is to this fucking guy. Heil Hitler to, to the Fuhrer. Sig Heil is to Nietzsche. Hitler visited Nietzsche. Nietzsche's sister gave him Nietzsche's cape. Hitler is this, I mean, Frederick Nietzsche. I'm, I, I, like, I dare not even ask the question, was he good or evil? He wrote the famous book, Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, he wrote, Thus Spoke Zarathustra very interesting book about some prophet like Khalil Gibran's the prophet this dude just shows up in his village and just starts spitting wisdom yo what I recommend is if you don't want to if you're too lazy to YouTube Jordan Peterson at the University of Toronto by the way uh, he's a best-selling New, New, New York Times author as well like he has a book out uh, called um, 12 rules of life colon an antidote to chaos yo he talks about well, I mean, Tolstoy and Dostoevsky and Nietzsche a lot. And Stalin, of course, this guy, yo. Hitler, uh, Hitler was bad, I'm sorry, but Stalin was evil and Mao Zedong was the devil. You're like, why? Well, it's numbers. Mao Zedong killed a hundred million people. That's, is that bad? It doesn't, that's not even the starting point. He killed a hundred million Chinese people. Yo, if you listen to Noam Chomsky, just, just pay attention to what I'm saying. Like. What he says is, is what is, and I'm just repeating the words. Noam Chomsky, he's a linguist at MIT, okay? He, he's an activist, he writes books, whatever. If you don't know who he is, like, who the hell am I to tell you? So he says every empire does the same thing, just like people do the same thing. It's just like they say, which is wrong, by the way. They say power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely total shit. Yo, my upright in Amway at one point, I'm, I'm no longer in Amway, but I, I was in there for years and I met all kinds of fucking famous people. Yo, this guy says, you don't see God throwing thunderbolts or just smashing people. God is infinitely powerful if, 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 if you can, like, I don't know what the hell to say. I'm a Muslim. I don't want to preach to you, but 
if he was you know in power corrupts infinite like so absolute power he's absolutely powerful but you think he's corrupt believe it or not there's some people say that say that god likes to see us suffer can you believe this someone asked my dad this question yo do you think god is merciful i got pissed off when my dad told me and i'm like did you straighten this guy up do you think god is merciful so basically the guy was having a hard time i mean he's like a shia he's a muslim or whatever he comes to our our temple or our imam bada as it's called this guy asked my dad is god merciful he thinks god's given him a hard time you're giving you a hard time whatever uh problems you face are because of what your own two hands have done says the quran Okay, just a little bit pray. There'll be no more ah, ah, ah. But she may feel a little. The reason I'm partying right now, this is my party by the way. It's Friday, right? So I work overnights, and so Friday day is, is actually my weekend. <laughs> there is no pain. So go learn that D key. Don't be silly about it. Just buy a guitar tuner and to learn to tune it, whatever. Technology is your friend, etc. If you can play a, a, D, a D chord and you're interested in playing the guitar, then you'll definitely be able to play an E, which is two. A G is, is three points. Like I'm trying to show you the easy chords. Forget about the C. They teach you a C. It's hard enough. It's, it's F and C are hard. It's a great chord, but it's hard to play properly, which is with the top strings. So forget about it. E, like this. Yo, Nirvana has two songs with just E and C. I'm not like them, and I can pretend. The sun is gone, and I have a light. The day is done, I'm having fun. Oh, I think I'm dumb. Maybe just happy. Become just happy. Two chords. My heart is broke. I have some blue. Help me inhale and bend it with you. We'll flow around. Hang out and clap. When we'll come down. Yo, there's another song. Yo, Soundgarden has a song with two. Nirvana has two songs. Uh, yo, about a girl from like the the debut uh, album Bleach. I mean, the debut album, of course, was never mind. Bleach was just this aborted fetus of an album. Anyway, there's um this thing. That's the song, same same chords, you no know, different songs, right? You gotta be a guy like Kurt Cobain. I'm sorry, but like Picasso says you learn the rules like a professional in order to break them like an artist. Okay. Nothing that is good comes easy. Nothing that comes easy is good. Everything that glitters is shit. Happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life, right guys? We're separated. We've been separated since 2011. I mean, we got back together and, and off and on. Like, we even lived in Calgary for almost a year, right? Yo, dream situation. I'm at home doing my consulting, uh, Facebook ads, working with realtors for the most part. Like, mad, mad work. Anyway, all kinds of stuff. Anyway. Like all kinds of stuff. Because when you start talking to people, they're like, yo, can you build my website? Yo, what about this thing over here? Yo, my competitor is showing up in Google. How are we going to do this? I'm like, yo, calm the fuck down. You need to sell shit, all right? None of this stuff is going to help you. Like this guy, Ducatero, I told him the answer. I got to call this fucking guy. I owe him money, and so I'm a bit shamefaced, but I gave him the answer to 10X his company. Okay, 10X, like that's Grant Cardone. He's this Texan guy. I don't agree with him personally, but he says some cool, cool stuff. He says, for example, Grant Cardone, C-A-R-D-O-N-E. Apparently, he's a sales guy. I don't. 
appreciate high pressure sales tactics. In fact, I'm the guy who says sales is silence. You just show up and shut up. If you look good and sound good and smell good, they'll tell you what you need to know. And then you just go away and tell someone else. If you're doing any goddamn work apart from talking to people or listening to them, then you're doing something that's not sales. Okay, so now Soundgarden has a song with the two same chords, E. I mean, if you want to try and learn the C, okay, go ahead. Okay, it takes practice, but... Um, nothing seems to kill me. No matter how hard I try. Nothing is closing my eyes. Nothing seems to break me. Soundgarden is musically way more accomplished than Nirvana, don't get it twisted, but being technically good and being a technically good musician counts for nothing, nothing, nothing. You can have a little kid who has creativity and he will literally write a song in five minutes. Like you give him a guitar for like any length of time and give him some rudimentary basic instructions. Anyway, whatever, like some people like just come out of the womb, it seems playing like this guy, this guy was the ultimate, uh, Pantera. Dimebag was his name, Dimebag Darrell. Dimebag, which reminds me, I need to roll a joint up and smoke one because it's the only way I can sleep. That's how um, stressed out I am. So, I don't have a doctor's slip, I have Canada. I don't need a goddamn doctor's slip to smoke a joint. People are like killing each other, like doing real drugs, and it's like, I gotta feel bad now, I'm like 47 year old man, and it's like I gotta apologize each time I wanna roll one up. So I'm saying this because my family gets really bent out of shape. They don't friend me on Facebook. They don't talk to me on Twitter. They don't like my my stuff on YouTube. My family, my family. My familia. Anyway, so now that we've played some Floyd, let's just give you what you want to hear. commercial uh, they seem to be the only band with two really 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 well-known and stellar uh, singles like money and and uh, wish you were here but I've grown to like the song let's just put it that way just because it makes people so happy so you think you can tell heaven from hell and learn E. They're so simple. Like, come on, you can play the goddamn thing. Can you tell a green from a cold Thank you. 
is great right this this main verse verse two whatever yo it's a great like set of words right like that's what makes Floyd special of course and Nirvana and Soundgarden and the rest of them right how I wish how I wish you were here with just two lost souls swimming in a fish bowl year after year song and she also loves this song by Lip Biscuit. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I was in jail. I'm not too proud about it, but whatever, right? Anyway, I'm on probation now. In Canada you don't need to hit someone to go to jail apparently. And if you date a white chick uh, and you are a serial white chick dater, you're probably gonna go to jail one day. This is my feeling if you're not white. Because the girl will one day call the cops and regardless of what comes out of her mouth, I'm an ex-security guard and I've talked to a bunch of people at the receiving end of this thing. Yo, I love this girl. I don't know what happened. And she called the cops. I don't even know what she said. It doesn't matter what she said. You're going to be in jail for eight months, four to eight months. Like if she says something to do with sex or violence, this is Canada. They'll be there in eight minutes. I, I was telling you about this condo beyond the sea and beyond the sea. Um, Park Lawn and Lakeshore, okay, 52 floors, whatever, 36 floors, like, you see, nonsense, when you go up there, and I got a video on YouTube, it's called, like, the joys of security or something, you know, you go up there on a clear day, you'll understand why Toronto is famous in the universe, this lake of yours, first of all, you can see Michigan standing on the ground, so forget about that thing, there's, like, uh, probably, like, Okay, I'll be realistic. I was gonna say 100, but there's probably two to 500 boats on the, on the water. Two to 500. So just think about that. Sailboats, recreational boats, not some stupid shit like fishing and crap like this. <laughs> Finally got my goddamn phone charged and my wife doesn't want to talk to me. Figures. She doesn't like it when I smoke weed and I can't not smoke weed now that I've taken goddamn lithium. Okay, so that's the story, and I'm sticking with it, regardless of scam age and big pharma. Yeah, psychotropic drugs, I believe, like Tom Cruise right now is going through some heat on account of being a Scientologist. He also gets in trouble for talking about pharmaceutical drugs, and he says things like, yo, you give these drugs to kids. The kid wants, to, like, he's asking question, too many questions, and you give him, like, a pill to shut him up. And then you wonder why they become criminals. Like, you're going to breathe. Yo, do you understand what's going on? Like, Jordan Peterson uh, on YouTube, like, he's a neuroscientist, by the way. And he's a psychiatrist, just like Sam Harris. Yo, the same neuroscience that made Jordan Peterson a believer made Sam Harris an atheist. Very interesting. Hello? Hello? See, they just hung up on me. That was like one of my family members, they just like hung up on me.
Can't let 
Yet at the same time, we're invisible. That's uh, the aside again. So Charles Manson didn't kill anybody. Charles Manson told his family to go and do a helter skelter, which is they enter a house, they rearrange the furniture, and then in the morning these yuppie people, like whatever pigs or whatever they they hated these the, the white ruling class or whatever that they were white. I mean if they were on drugs, whatever. Charlie wasn't. He smoked weed. He didn't do drugs. Like the family went insane because they started doing hard drugs because they were living on this ranch and there were bikers there anyway. Charlie wanted a record deal. He never told anyone to kill anyone. It's the fact. This guy, Vince Bugliosi, who prosecuted and hung him up to dry and wrote a book and wrote many books and made a career and got many people to make careers out of this fucking thing. They're all wrong. Charles Manson died like a few years ago, okay? God is going to judge him. I'm just telling you what the fucking facts are. Out of his life of 85 years, he might have spent 17 or 14 outside, something like this. 60 years of his life, he was in for sure. Starting from age 14 or 17, something like this. So the system created Charles Manson. Charles Manson was a guitarist and a songwriter, and he loved the Beatles, and he actually has music out there that needs to be recorded. And the whole fucking case is circumstantial at best. Was he at the house? No. Did he kill anyone? No. Did anyone record him telling anyone? I know the details, okay, fuckers? Uh, Abigail Folger, the heiress of Folger Coffee, okay? Her boyfriend, some Polish wanker called Wachowski, these are the people who were killed. Sharon Tate, obviously, pregnant with a baby. Roman Polanski's wife, poor guy. Whatever, bad deal where he has consensual sex with an underage lady. Too bad, Roman, but at least they gave you a fucking Oscar. Um, so you, you choose. You want to go to the States or you want to be a fucking legend in movie history. And as far as the girl's concerned, like 30 years later, she's like, yo, I don't give a shit about this stuff. Like, fucking let it go. Right? So he's like some French Jew or something, and they, they just hate him. They want to fucking nail him to a cross. And he goes out and he makes the pianist. Just watch the pianist. Yo. Anyway, watch the pianist and then understand how it's done. Okay, there's a song I've been trying to play, Fear Factory. It's just two notes, of course. Best songs are one note as far as I'm concerned. There's many of them, in metal at least. This is two notes. That's the bass. The bass starts like this. But the whole key to Fear Factory is, again, the sound. It's not hard technically. I mean, the guy masters it and he can play it like in his sleep, literally. You wake him up and he's drunk and he's sleepy and he's divorcing or someone's attacking him or in, in, in the picture, in the media or some bullshit. You know, and they're making some kind of documentary, whatever the fuck. And he'll still play this demo. So it's, it's not easy, is it? anti-drug song called self-immolation i played it to my first girlfriend my first love Luisa leon Diaz, and she gave me her honest take on it which was very cool she said i can feel the guy's anger i tell people everything i've learned in life is from women and in islam women are superior because the lady fatima according to shias is superior to prophet muhammad Apparently, God said to Prophet Muhammad, if it wasn't for you, we would not have created the universe. If it wasn't for Fatima, we wouldn't have created you. I don't know what that means to you, but that's the way we see it. Women are superior. You came from one. So talking about this goddamn thing is, is like slitting <laughs> celery, right? <laughs> So I always wonder why bands don't just get a vocalist. 
why would you not just get someone who can sing just as well as you, if not 10 times better, and you just work on your playing? And I figured it out finally after 30 years. Finding the fifth member is impossible. Yo, it's just like if you're a waiter in a restaurant. <clears throat> As a person who was, I was taught by some guy who came, they, well, I was in Connecticut at university, the University of Bridgeport. Bridgeport is no big deal, by the way. Although the University of Bridgeport is the only university that's actually on the seaside, seaside. Like you come out of the dorm and we just get baked and just like take acid and just be wandering around on seaside. <laughs> come out like then we, there's a song by Pink Floyd, Alan's Psychedelic Breakfast. So we'd come in to the dining hall at seven in the morning, just brains fried on acid. Acid is just like, well, all it is, it's just like you're dreaming, but you're awake. You're, you're like, you know, whatever you look at starts changing. That's, that's the key in dreams. I, I'm not a, a dreamer per se. If you read The Art of Dreaming by Carlos Castaneda, the thing with dreams is you got to give things glances, just glances. If you pay attention to any one thing, for too long in a dream, it dissolves. solos, so that's why you tune down the top string.
This one, Master Puppet, say. Eh? dots okay just pay attention to five and seven i don't even have this is a yamaha and it's not a mistake there's no nine or twelve there's usually a dot in the nine and the twelve yo just play what you can learn what you can 
Don't mind looking like an idiot. Just pay attention to the sound. That's it. The rest of it will fall into place. Either you're going to like it and you're going to continue or you're going to hate it and you're going to say, this is total shit. And you're going to put the guitar on QGG and make money online, which is always a good thing. Right, guys? Soundgarden, Spoon, man, just one song. It's just like, yo, they got a, a sick, a Sardar guitar player. Just one guy out of nowhere, like, who knows? Like, yo, he just descended from Mars. This guy, Ken Thiel. He's a Sard. He's a goddamn Sard. He doesn't cut his hair, by the way, and he's already in, like, heavy metal because that's their religion. Anyway, I don't see any other, like, there's plenty of Indian metal bands in India. There's nothing coming close to this guy, like, Yo, or Indian descent, more or less, right? A third, yo, and he grows his hair long, and he's a religious man. So now, there's a band in the Philippines called Death Angel that hit the mainstream briefly back in the 80s. Other than that, metal is all like whatever, Scandinavia and fucking the States, right? England it doesn't even have that much metal, does it? Like Iron Maiden is not metal. Fucking uh, ACDC is Australia. I mean, Metallica, okay, let me just explain this fucking thing to you guys once and for all, okay? Metallica, I love them, don't, don't worry about that thing. I mean, I loved them, whatever, and I love them as a business, whatever. Metallica's Metallica, I'm just some fucking guy who has a guitar and some spare time, right? So now, I saw them at Rogers Center as a security guard working for Northwest Security. This guy, James Hetfield, Yo, he came up to the bootstrap on his boot on the screen behind him, if you understand what I just said. The screen behind him was like, I'm a forklift operator. I go up like 25 feet, and that's scary because the thing walks sometimes, and you're tempted to like descend and move forward at the same time like these other cats, and it's very dangerous. People get killed in these things. My wife was like, shit, be careful. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you got my safety shoes, right? Anyway. So you're not going to come up with a riff like that. So I suggest you copy them. People are like, oh, you play the same songs and you don't play your own shit. I played my own shit at U-Band, at whatever, UB, like the University of Bridgeport. We had a band, we didn't know what to call it. We just called it the UB Band or U-Band. And the name stuck. And yeah, we played The Doors and we played Floyd. And I wrote some songs and I'm not going to play any of them. And uh, people danced, like old people and girls who thought it was like the shit. Oh God, I had some girl, like she was crazy about me. I only realized after graduating, it took like four years. She was hitting on me like day and night, like literally, like every time we talked, it was like, yo. Anyway, and the reason was because she actually saw my first love, Louisa, who was half English. And she shows up at Thanksgiving or some fucking thing. And people in the dining hall are like, what the fuck? Louisa with her like Gucci shoes and like skirts and whatever. Like she's like English and she'll kick your fucking ass, like literally. Yo, some guy in Cyprus where I met her, drunk at a bar, he pulls a knife for some fucking thing, and I was just a little kid back in the day, some other guy hustled me out of there, he's like, get the fuck out of here, this guy's crazy, he's, he's gonna stab you, okay, just get out of here, just leave, I was like, fuck, whatever, I left. So now, Louisa goes up to this guy, apparently, throws, she punches the fucking guy, like, whatever, she's like, smash a glass in your face, like, she used to have a drinking problem, and Due to the grace of God, like she doesn't anymore, I suppose. She's got a smoking cigarettes problem. Um, yeah. So now this Bosnian girl who was hot as a model and everyone else was in love with, and I suppose I was, but I was too scared to, to even dare to dream that she might be interested in someone like me. And she was hitting on me constantly. Like, I don't know why in the middle of conversation, I mentioned that, like, I'm at the feet, whatever, right? I don't know what to say, like I am, like whatever, right? So now she starts talking about her fucking feet. And then it's like, yo, know, like I played a show with you band and then she comes up and she's all delighted and she's like, oh, when you play 
the guitar because I didn't know how to solo, but I had to put some fucking thing in there. You can play anything. Solos are for like, it's like sales. There's no such thing. Like you go like that, whatever, that's a solo. If you just follow the rules of no consecutive notes, if you play a consecutive note, you need to leave two or three and you'll, you'll pick it up. And then you play another consecutive, right? So whatever. If you want to learn guitar, just learn the bass. I don't know why the fuck they don't say this thing. Just play a bass guitar. And like, you can't make a mistake on a bass guitar, frankly, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I don't know what the hell to say. I don't know much about bassists. <clears throat> but if you want to hear a good one, it would be this man. Last song, and then I'm done. If I'm disturbing anyone, I'm sorry. It's 10 o'clock. The law says I can go till 11, all right? So I'm leaving an hour late, according to some, because I said 9 o'clock. But I'm actually leaving an hour early because I leave when I want to leave and I can say whatever the hell it is. Yo, check out the bass on this song. 20 year, 22 year old modern wonder. So, what do you so want to do, man? Yo, the classic. Classic never goes out of style. Funny stuff in the wardrobe. I mean, it's from my way. Yeah. Right. No idea what it's going to be about. So, you know, you say they got some stuff in the wardrobe. Keep it down there. And then you guys. Um, bass, the bass, this is Mick Briscoe's bass, the fucking bass. Check, check out the magic key. You think you're special? You think you're special? Me too. I can see it in your eyes. See it when you laugh at me, look down on me, and walk around on me. Just one more fight about your leadership, and I will stay up with your shit. Cause I ain't enough of it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna make it to YouTube, but whatever.
I wouldn't mind hearing from your go and call your mom or whatever.